There will be time in uh, ZBrush when you want to work on both sides of your model and you want the both sides of your model to look more identical like suppose if I will use my standard brush tool over here to create this sort of lump so I want the same lump over here now practically to create something uh, exactly matching is not possible because both sides when you will do manually work on you will not get exactly the same result always it will be different as your strokes will not be exactly the same as you are working on so to avoid this we have a symmetry option inside zbrush what it do is that if you are working on either side the other side is basically copies that to turn on the symmetry, let me uh, undo it. To turn on the symmetry, you just have to press X on your keyboard. So if you will uh, just notice here, my mouse is here and you will see that uh, this is, I'm not in the symmetry mode my, right now. If I will press X on my keyboard, you will see that a, uh, like an extra smaller circle is now appearing on my screen on the other side. So if I will draw here, so the same thing is drawn on the other side okay so this is how i can have my both sides work uh, you know uh, will be work as same okay so i can change my the shape of my uh, like my like uh, base mesh over here okay and then whatever i want i can do it and it will be copied to the other side. So this is quite handy tool which creates a lot like you know nice results and it will be symmetrically identical on the both sides. So this is how you can work with the symmetry tool. Now uh, symmetry tool have different accesses. Let me undo this one. To access those transform accesses and the symmetry uh, tool you can go to the symmetry option here. And here you have active symmetry, activate symmetry. So active symmetry is already activated the X because I press X on my keyboard. When you press X on your keyboard, your symmetry is activated. And if you press X again, it will deactivate. So if you press X, it will activate. Now I'm on the X axis means on the X axis, whatever I'm doing will be copied. What I can do here is that suppose I don't want the X axis, I can uncheck the X axis and go to the Y axis. Now, if I will go to the Y axis, so whatever I will do on the top will happen on the bottom as well. Okay, you can see that is happening over here. So this is for those uh, objects that have uh, same uh, top or bottom instead of uh, left and right. Okay, so this is how it will work. So you can see I'm working on the top. It is doing the same thing on the bottom. Okay, now apart from that, I have similarly, uh, similarly I have the Z axis. I can turn off the Y and turn on the Z. Now if I will do this one, so you can see that if I'm working on the back side, the front side is affecting because this is the Z axis. So Z axis works like this. And one more thing I can do here is that I can go to the uh, this transform option here and I can turn more than one. Suppose I want X and Y to be worked at the same time. So if I will work over here, so you can see that it will work on the X also, and it will also work on the Y also. Okay, so two or the same time. Or one more thing I can do here is that I can turn on the Z also. So X, Y, and behind the Z also. So it will work all at the same time. This three will be uh, identical. Okay, so this is how you can work on your symmetry here. Now, let me do one thing here. Let me turn, uh, let me take this polysphere over here. Okay, and I can apply symmetry on both sides. Okay, one uh, different kind of other kind of uh, symmetry over here we have is known as the radial symmetry. So I can turn this off. Oh, sorry. Uh, I could turn this on and I can have x axis 
okay y or whatever so i will keep it x axis and if you will go here on your uh, object here let's of course let me go here and you can see that when i'm drawing it is drawing in the radial form okay like if i go at this side you can see that let me make my mouse a little smaller if i will draw something here and you can see that it is creating in a symmetrical form here okay so there are total how many counts eight if i want to increase the count maybe i want 20 counts so it will draw more lines here okay so i can do something sort of this sort of thing so maybe i can create a weird eye shapes over here with a lot of different veins okay so this is the x-axis now if i will turn on uh if i'll make it eight back and use y-axis and draw so you will see that it is drawing on the y-axis it is going on the y direction okay and i can also do similarly with the z direction so if i will do so you can see that it is going on the z direction okay and i can also do all of them together and when i draw so you can see it is getting more crazy here okay so this is how you can create very nice effects with the help of the symmetry here so you have uh, radial symmetry and then you have the normal symmetry which is basically like a linear symmetry so i hope you have understood about, about the symmetry so try to practice with the symmetry and try to make some interesting effects with the help of the symmetry over here Thanks a lot, everyone, for joining my course and following up with me. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, so please subscribe to my channel. Also, click on the bell icon so you can get the daily notifications. And I will really appreciate if you will watch all my videos online without downloading them because I need all those watch time hours. Please just support me. Uh, keep on sharing my videos with your friends ask them also to subscribe because I will be coming up with a lot of new great tutorials and full courses also don't forget to watch my online live streams and uh, watch the introductory video of the live stream you can also click on this icon on the top right corner where you can find my live stream introductory video where I have explained about all my uh, schedule uh, that I'm will be working uh, on my live streams basically okay guys so take care and see you in the next topic or in the next chapter so by the time take care and keep subscribing keep watching and keep the zebra <laughs>